Hi guys, so today um, I've got, oh my god, I don't know if we can stand up with all these. I've got a big unboxing. Look at this. Ah. Um, yeah. Ah. Challenge in itself just to show you guys the boxes. So I can't wait to go through everything with you because there are so many cool brands in this one. So today, as I'm filming this, it is actually, I believe, the Thanksgiving weekend. So I want to wish you guys um, happy Thanksgiving or belated Thanksgiving. I'm not sure exactly on what day it's celebrated because here we don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Um, and basically, I want to thank you guys for supporting me all these years because um, today was actually really cool because I was on the front page of a few newspapers here in Switzerland and all this wouldn't be happening without your support over the years. So I just wanted to show you guys so you can kind of see it too and um, just know I really appreciate it. So this was on the front page of Bernat Zeitung which is a really big paper here in the region where I live. Um, and here I am right on the front page. So I'm just wondering if anyone from Switzerland saw this. This is the um, picture from my butterfly fairy. Halloween look and then the article is actually quite big it goes, goes all the way down here and a couple of weeks ago Or was it last week? This was the edition of 6 November in the Schweizer Illustrierte This is the main sort of people magazine of Switzerland There was also actually an article about me that they had come to shoot I showed that in a vlog and there's a whole page here about yours truly um, And this was just so cool to see you can see the photos here I am that's in my living room and then the photos um, again the butterfly one and then this was actually taken in my studio. There was actually a photographer who came to my house and took these photos. As it's Thanksgiving, I want to thank you guys, of course, for all your support. I feel like this has just this, what I do here, I never thought that it would grow into something so really enriching for myself. And also there's just this amazing community that we have on here, really supportive community of each other. And thank you guys so much. I'm gonna take this first box here. This is by Clinique. Looks like some of their chubby sticks. Chubby stick intense moisturizing lip color balms. So it says here that these are newly available colors for fall, um, fall and winter season. So I guess that these colors are a little bit richer and deeper. Let's try out this one. This one is in the shade Robust Rouge and it's kind of this bright red shade. There's Robust Rouge. This one is called Boldest Bronze. Although this one looks more like an sort of a coppery, but also a nude-ish almost shade. Um, the color still is quite sheer. I mean, they're called intense. Maybe the, the colors are just supposed to be a bit more, um, you know, bolder colors. Fullest fuchsia. So this one is more of a pink tone. So the, the pink and the red are definitely a bit more colorful. And this one is like a bronzy, but it's still sort of nude. I just realized there's actually a second package in here by Clinique. Um, so I thought, let's just do the second one. Also, I love this packaging already. It's like this mirrored packaging. Woo, look at that, I can blind you with it. Oh, this is so cool. This is like a lip mix shade. That looks so elegant. Can you see that, all the colors? of all the different lip shades. So this is called the Pretty Easy Lip Palette. And I guess the idea behind this is that there's actually four spaces down here that are empty, tiny little plastic spatula. So you can take some of the color and then mix your own custom blend. Oh my God, this is so weird. It's like a little tiny retractable lip brush. Wow, I've never seen anything like that to be honest. Can you see that? It's like, here's the thing and then you can retract it going down like that. There's the colors, can you see those? Those look very, all look very wearable and pretty for fall. This is the Pretty Easy Eye Palette. Ooh, wow, this looks gorgeous. Can you see that? So these are all very wearable, neutral shades of eyeshadow. So a good variety of shades and a good variety of colors, like textures, I mean. What are these called? Skinny sticks. So I'm guessing that these are liners. They're kind of like twist up, you know what I mean? Like you twist up the bottom and they come up and then this one is brown and the other one is black and these look actually really intensely pigmented. And there's a beautiful mirror in here, can you see? That mirror is like really large. It's a very large mirror and I love this packaging. It's very, very sleek, very elegant, but very sturdy. This is very sturdy. I'm loving this. The Pretty Easy Brow Palette. So kind of the same concept, three different brow shades, um, 
This is a cream, looks like, and then a brown, and this is a white, I guess, or not a white, sort of a cream color that you could use for highlighting just underneath your brow, and then there's um, a little tool in here to apply it. Thank you so, so much to Clinique for sending all that through. I can't wait to play with it. I just opened up the next box, and this product was inside, and this is honestly, there was no press text with it. I have never even heard of this brand. It's called La Colline Swiss Riviera Beauty Treatment, so I'm thinking this is probably a product that is actually made in Switzerland. Yes, it is. It's made in Montreux, and this is a hand cream, Advanced Vital Cellular Vital Hand Cream SPF 15. This looks very sort of elegant. I'd, I have no idea if this is like a luxury brand or if it's more affordable. Um, there's no, like I've honestly never heard of it. I don't even know who sent this to me. Oh, it's very rich. It's a nice rich hand cream. I'm not 100% crazy about this scent to be honest, but it's, I mean, it feels nice. I just, I don't really know anything about this hand cream. So there was no press text with it. So anyhow, that is in there. So here are a few new things by um, L'Occitane. 5% um, shea butter soothing fluid. So this is made for sensitive skin, skin weakened by external aggressions. And then is in here also the face comforting oil with 5% shea butter. Face oil, soothing fluid. All right, so I've got just some on, the, on my wrist here. Smells, it smells pleasant. It smells like their shea butter range, just the regular shea butter range. Face oil, this comes out like, I'm just gonna try it on the other wrist here. It has, a, it has the same scent as the other one and it feels like kind of a dry oil, you know what I mean? Like you put it on but it doesn't feel super greasy. It absorbs quite Fast. I mean, it does feel like an oil, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't feel like you're just putting olive oil or something on your face. So it says here that this is made especially for people in the sort of colder months where you might have more dry textures. So the next package that I just opened is also by L'Occitane. This just looks so cute. Look at this. It looks like a little tiny hat box and there's little drawings of women doing various things in their life. This is so cute. Look at this, it's like the girls' coffee break over here at the cafe. Oh my God, you know what? This is so adorable. Five mini hand creams. Oh my God, they're so adorable. Um, so there's mini hand creams in here and they're all in all different scents. There's the original Shea Butter, there is the um, vanilla bouquet hand cream. There's the almond, uh, almond scent one, the, uh, the, I don't know what this one is, rose, and I think this one is the cherry blossom. And like, how, how adorable is this gift? Like, even just the way that they're stuck in there, I think this is meant to be at one of their Christmas gifts. And you know what, I feel like, I feel like this is something that Someone would absolutely love to have. So I'm just gonna give this away um, to one of you guys because I have so many products and I have tons of hand creams. So I feel like I wouldn't get the joy out of it, you know, that someone else might. And I just, I just wanna give you guys something because you watch these videos and you're probably thinking, oh, I want all this stuff. And this is such a cute little gift. I think this is so adorable. And these hand creams are so luxurious. Check me out on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. I'll have the, um, a picture of this up and I'll have all the rules because I, I mean, I'm, I'm just doing this on the spur of the moment so I don't even know how I'm gonna give this away. All I know is that it will be on Instagram. So go and follow me on Instagram, find the picture of this and I'll have all the rules. Thank you so much to Luxitan and I wish you guys good luck because someone is gonna really love that, I know. So next I actually have a package that I cheated because I already opened it. it it was by Urban Decay and the new Urban Decay Vice palette and then there's two other products in here Urban Decay hasn't been in Europe for that long to be honest so I feel like these are this brand is still quite new to the European market especially here in Switzerland I think they've only been here like a year or something now this comes in a little sort of pouch with this holographic looking design on the front very sort of graphic looking and then the palette I think is so cool uh, with the zigzagging lines and the color you can see it kind of is this multicolor dark purple sort of petrol green gorgeous so those are all the colors in 
the Vice palette. So there's 20 eyeshadows in here, which is a lot. I mean, that's a lot of eyeshadows. These are the only three true matte shades here on the side. Um, these three and then the rest are either shimmery or frosty or satin. If you were in a hotel and you didn't have a good mirror, you could set this down on the table and the mirror is at this perfect angle so that you can see your face. This looks really nice. And let's see, this one also caught my eye. This one's called Fast Ball. So this is without a base. Really good pigmentation. I mean, any of you guys who have already Urban Decay shadows know that their pigmentation is really good. This is not a true black, it's more like a charcoal gray with a little bit of shimmer in it. So there's some shades that you could maybe do a neutral eye with, maybe even this one. And then there's some good pops of color. This I'm really excited about this one. And then there's two more products in here. There's the 24-7 Waterline Eye Pencil. So they're just um, sort of the long lasting ones. So Legend and Rail. The black one, Legend, is this one. And this one, Rail, is really, really dark brown. Like if you look at it, it's almost black, but just kind of a very charcoaly dark brown. So thank you so, so much to Urban Decay for sending that. Let's do the next package, which is by MAC Cosmetics. Magic of the Night. There's the visual for that. And the packaging is so cool. It's this teal blue sort of chrome looking packaging. Petrol blue pearl glide intense eyeliner and it's in this cool, I love this packaging. Very intense navy color. This one, the pearl glides, they are very, very creamy when you apply them. Um, and then this one has the sort of, like they do have shimmer to them so they're not completely matte. I don't know if you can see that but when you go like that it kind of reflects different colors. I think they're, it's really fun. Can you see that color? It's so blue and teal, really nice. So that, yeah, Night Thrill Color Drenched Pigment. Okay, I've never had that finish. I'm guessing it's super pigmented. On my finger, can you see that there? It has a really strange texture. It's kind of chunky, but then it's also kind of creamy. Can you see it there? So it's beside the blue here, this very light, very light golden color. Kind of depending on the angle you look at it, sometimes it looks super pigmented, on the other side it looks like really chunky, so not 100% sold on this texture. Thank you so, so much to MAC Cosmetics for sending products from your range. Next up, I have a package here, and this one is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Whoa! Oh my god, just like looking in here is making me happy. So this is the Lip Gloss Fall Collection by Anastasia. Now, um, I'll just give you a warning straight off the bat. I am not a lip gloss girl. I feel like there's a lot of people who are either really into lip gloss or they're really into lipsticks, and I would fall more in the latter category, but I'm really excited about these colors. Um, um, so these are 16 bucks a pop. Okay, the first one I like looked at on here, the one that is my, drawn my eye, um, can you guess? Yes, it is this one <laughs> because it's just the most like dark and vampy. These, these look so luxurious. Let's see. Holy. Wow, these are, whoa, these are pigmented. This is giving me life right now. Wow, okay, maybe I'll, I will retract that statement saying I'm not really into lip gloss as much because this is just... See, the thing is I like the idea of lip gloss, um, but the reality is in winter often I'm wearing like scarves and stuff and then it'll like get caught in my lip gloss or my hair will get caught and then, you know, like drags the lip gloss across your face and if you have this color, <laughs> you've got like a streak of lip gloss. Here, sepia. Now sepia, they released as a liquid lipstick. Here is sepia. Wow, these are so freaking pigmented. There is sepia. This one is called butterscotch. Here is butterscotch. That looks so pretty and these are so pigmented. I'm just going to try this one, the butterscotch. Um, I just kind of removed what I had on my lips. So pigmented. Oh my god, it tastes so good. Has a very caramelly 
very yummy scent. Now, if you don't like thick lip glosses, you might not like these because they are kind of thick, but that's because they're so pigmented. It feels to me sort of similar to their liquid lipsticks, but with a glossy finish instead of the dry matte um, texture that the liquid lipsticks have. Um, so if you don't like the liquid lipsticks, but you still want sort of a similar color payoff, like these might be worth checking out. So there are nine shades in total uh, from this range. They're $16 each. You can probably buy them uh, from their website. For me so far, thumbs up for the lip glosses. Like for someone who's not even really into lip glosses, I'm quite impressed with these. So that's kind of funny. There's two more liquid lipsticks in here. So these are two new liquid lipsticks. Um, this one here is called Catnip and this one's called Soft Lilac. They're very kind of similar in a way. Um, the lighter one is Soft Lilac and Catnip is this one. Now what I al always find about the liquid lipsticks in general is that they will look different in the tube than once they have set and dried on your lips because once they dry, it seems like they just get a little bit deeper and darker. So it's a little bit deceiving what you see in here um, because they don't stay this color on your lip because they kind of set, right? That's how they get that matte um, finish. So once they've dried down, they're always a little bit darker. So again, thank you so much to Anastasia Beverly Hills. Next, I have a package here by Manhattan Cosmetics and they're boxes are always quite fun to open. So it's called, watch out, there's a revolution inside. Let's see what the, what the heck? Huh? So these are these weird like hair curler things. I think these are just a gag because I'm sure that actually the main product that they want me to talk about is this one. Um, so this is called the Super Curler Mascara. Bye bye Vimpansange, which means goodbye lash curler, super curler mascara. So I guess this mascara is meant to uh, give you very curl curled looking lashes. Do you see that wand? It's very weird shape. Like it's not evenly curved. It seems to be more curved on one side. And then here it's kind of straight. It kind of looks like a banana or something. <laughs> what? Like I've been loving um, another mascara recently from the drugstore. The um, I went back to an old favorite, the L'Oreal Voluminous. That was like, soup, wasn't that in the 80s or in the 90s? And I've like gone back to it. And I'm like, this is such a good mascara. <laughs> um, so I've been using that, but maybe I'll give this one a try. So this is supposed to be a yeah, 24 hour curl effect. Thank you, Manhattan, for sending that. I have to say though, as fun as that packaging is for that mascara, like this is, this is actually the product that they want to send. This is, this is a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? Like, this is gonna go in the garbage. So, I always kind of feel a little bit sad about that because like on the one hand, I realize they wanna make a good impact and it does. Like it makes me very curious about the product, which is okay, yeah, mission accomplished. But on the other hand, I'm like left with a bunch of waste. I think, I don't know, I just feel like it's a little bit wasteful. You know what I mean? Kara Stars. So this is their new Elixir Ultime Oleo Complex line. Anyhow, there's the Elixir K Ultime Oleo Complex Beautifying Oil Conditioner. This is for all hair types. So this is just a conditioner. Let's see how these smell. And now the Kerastase products always, I think, smell so luxurious. Oh my God. Oh my God. This smells like a straight up perfume. Holy, this smells like this smells like a perfume that I own by Bulgari. Wow, okay, maybe I'll, I'll make an exception and use this anyway, because if my hair smells like this, like, ah! Okay, so then there's also the Elixir Ultime um, Versatile Beautifying Oil. Beautifying oil with oleo complex, all hair types, apply one or two pumps on dry or wet hair as a leave-in treatment. Oh no, I think the, third, the second ingredient is dimethicanol. Now dimethicone is a silicone, so dimethicanol must be a silicone derivative, and I don't know if it's a, a good silicone or a bad silicone, I have to look it up, but let's just um, get a pump of this out. Let's just get some of that. And just go through, whoa, this smells divine. This smells so good. So making it greasy. I don't know, I think these oils, I feel like they work better in wet hair, but, oh my God, 
it smells so good feel it makes my hair feel really nice but I'll have to look up that ingredient if it's if it's one that rinses out or not if it doesn't rinse out then this cut does kind of cause buildup over time this is the volume beautifying oil mist so it has like a weird sort of two component thing so I don't know I guess you're supposed to shake it together radiance beautifying oil for color treated hair I don't have color treated hair a lot of people always ask me what hair color I use um, which is like, thank you, that's very flattering. Um, but I actually don't color my hair. So this is, I guess, sort of similar to this, but this is for colored hair versus, I guess, for not colored hair. I I'm definitely gonna try this out <laughs> because I'm such a sucker for nice scents. There's different oils in here. Doesn't say what kind of oil. But oil oils are so big in beauty right now. You know, it's like you find oils, like face oils, body oils, hair oils. It smells fantastic. It smells fantastic. It feels nice, but again, I'll have to look at the ingredients if it is sort of the buildup causing um, silicone. I probably won't use it. It's very tempting. So thank you so much to Karis Dawes for sending that through. If you want more information about my hair care routine and, you know, kind of because I'm talking about silicones and stuff, if you want more information about that, um, I do actually have a video on my whole hair care holistic approach, so you can go and check that out. Whoa, there's so much stuff in here. It's Le Petit Marseillaise. So this is their like very traditional soap made with lavender oil. Hmm, smells nice. I'll put this in the kitchen. It smells like lavender. It's meant to be just like very cleansing, these soaps. And, um, well, okay, obviously soap is meant to be cleansing. Um, okay, and then there's also in here the Le Petit Marseillaise um, Hazelnuss on Gelé Royale. So it's hazelnut and royal jelly from Greece. Ooh, hazelnut. I love hazelnuts. Like, honestly, I don't smell the hazelnut here. It's a, actually, no, it's a shower oil. Again, the oils, like I was just talking about. Um, a shower oil, lip balms that they have in here, beeswax, aloe, and shea butter. Um, just a lip balm, I'll definitely keep that here handy. I can always use a new lip balm. This weird paper bag, <laughs> what? Um, where did they get this paper? Oh my God, what? Oh my God. Okay, what? They sent me, a lavender, is this lavender? Why have they sent me a lavender tree? PR companies will do this sometimes, sort of as a gag, you know? Um, so this is, looks like a little lavender plant. Tiny one. It smells a bit rotten by now, to be honest, because it's kind of been in that box for a while. Poor thing. Something for men. And it's the Bois de Cas de Fougueres. Uh, fern and wood scented. Oh, that smells actually kind of nice. I'll give this to my husband. I'm sure he will use it. It's a shower gel, very manly with this black packaging. We reached the end of this unboxing. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. And also make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Hit that red subscribe button in the corner. Um, I would love to have you guys along for the next one. And I've already on the side now linked a few other videos that you can go and check out of these kind of unboxing PR samples and see all the stuff that I get sent. And as always, you can read my disclaimer in the info bar. Take part in that little Instagram giveaway for the Loxicon, uh, this gift set, because uh, I think it's just adorable and I want one of you guys to have it. So um, find me on Instagram and you'll see it there. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye everyone.